Bitterly cold air isn't just affecting us in mid-Michigan. The entire Midwest is in the deep freeze. That means increased demand for electricity used for heat, putting a strain on power companies to meet the needs of their customers. That's why Consumers Energy ordered next-tier automotive and other big companies like them to reduce electricity usage. We have arrangements in place with companies like Next Year where they pay a, cer- a certain rate, and in exchange, when there are situations like this, we ask them to reduce their electricity usage. It's really a a special situation that it really takes an extreme weather event like we're seeing here. Consumers Energy is part of a bigger Midwest collaborative called MISO. Its goal is to make sure everyone in the region has enough energy. Company spokesperson Brian Wheeler says getting a big power user like Next Year to play their part goes a long way. They probably use, or any companies like this, use as much electricity as maybe hundreds or even thousands of homes. So getting a large business to agree to use less electricity at a, at a peak time, at a special time like this, really has a big benefit for everybody. Next year confirmed it reduced electricity consumption earlier today. In a statement, the company said all office and test areas and a majority of manufacturing operations were shut down. Lights and heat remained on, however reduced in some idled areas. Just before noon, the electricity usage was allowed to return to normal levels. Next year says it will continue to work closely with Consumers Energy to support any ongoing energy reduction efforts due to the extreme cold weather. That cold weather is still entrenched in the area. For his part, Brian Wheeler wouldn't be surprised if what took place today happens again tomorrow. They don't tell us in advance, but I I think we're preparing for the possibility that this will happen again tomorrow morning. This will happen on Thursday morning. Reporting in Saginaw County, James Felton, WNEM TV5.